The news about um, Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman leaving Twitch for YouTube is, uh, well, up to now it's trending. Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman are two of Twitch's 50 biggest streamers. And like their predecessors, Courage, Valkyrie, and Dr. Disrespect, they have left Twitch. Oh, uh, there's another streamer that I want to mention that did the same. His name is Harris Heller. We can say that they, they left for greener pastures. But if you could take a look at their personal lives, both of them have uh, each have a wife and kids to feed. They need to put food on the table. They need to uh, they need to pay the bills more consistently than they should. And uh, they feel that Twitch, in its current state right now, is not going to help them do that. It's not going to help them accomplish that, at least. That's why they left. The issue here is not for me. It's not them leaving Twitch for YouTube. You, you, gotta, you, gotta, you gotta be happy for those guys. Because they know that they have a personal brand to protect. My problem is that some uh, Twitch users and Twitch fans, okay, fa even, even fans of these streamers that I have mentioned, would uh, would say that nah they did it for the money nah they were uh, no. it was the uh, bad idea they were or any or any 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 kind of that bullshit to those people to that that have said that regarding uh, Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman and, and every streamer that has uh, that has made the move from Twitch to not to not just YouTube to any other streaming platform out there. Do not place your own money problems on these guys. If you ask me, they are making better moves with their money than you. So what am I driving at here, YouTube? Simple. We all should be happy when a content creator has made a career move this big. A decision like this is not an uninformed one. From a personal branding standpoint, what Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tatman just did, I'm very sure they have thought it over at least a hundred times. Their families are on the line here. Their own personal brand is on the line here. So why put them down when we should be congratulating them when we should be applauding them just like that we should be happy for these guys because they are making the right moves they are uh, making the right decisions for their own personal brand and they're doing this because yes they got families they need to put food on the table they need to pay the bills more consistently they need to advance their brand more um, more often and being uh, a Twitch partner or, a, or at least an affiliate you're restricted here's the problem with the um, with Twitch's monetization schemes especially those, those uh, affiliate and partner contracts it's exclusive basic principle of an exclusive contract when you sign such a contract you're putting your own career practically in the hands of, uh, uh, of that company. It always has been that way. That's why so many uh, celebrities, athletes, they are trying to avoid an exclusive contract. Or in any um, or or any contract that is all, that is almost close to one. That's why they have lawyers around them. Dr. Lupo and the, Tim the Tatman, again, they made the right choice here. They are very, very conscious of their own personal brand. So here's my power tip for you, YouTube. If you feel 
your own brand is being compromised, always be prepared to walk away from the platform or the entity that that can uh, that is keeping you from uh, from uh, from moving forward. It's as simple as that. Personally, I am almost there in becoming an affiliate for Twitch. I'm disclosing this to you guys. But don't worry. I am not signing any contract from Twitch because uh, personally, I hate exclusivity. It's, well, if you got a personal brand to uphold, it is definitely conflict of interest because, well, I'm trying to develop a brand and Twitch wants me to, uh, to stream exclusively for them. Nope, sorry. <laughs> I stream on both uh, YouTube and Twitch simultaneously over at my Otako channel. So it's, well, it's benefiting me a lot because number one, I don't need to download the stream from Twitch. When you do, it's all messed up. So streaming simultaneously on Twitch and YouTube affords me now to download the stream from YouTube, which, well, downloading, downloading my own stream from YouTube fares better than downloading it from Twitch. <laughs> I've seen the difference. And <laughs> yeah, if you were in my shoes, you would choose YouTube every time. If you're streaming just because it's fun, just because it's a hobby, just because, well, you're bored as shit, it's okay not to watch this video. Because what well, you wouldn't you wouldn't care less about what I'm uh, what we're talking about here, especially uh, the move made the moves made by Doctor Lupo and Tim the Tatman. But if you're looking to develop your own personal brand, which is the right thing to do, if you're a content creator, making these kinds of decisions, you need to prepare yourself for that. So here's my power tip again. When you feel your personal brand is being is about to be compromised, always be prepared to walk away from any entity that will that will hold that will keep you from moving forward. So let's just all be happy for Tim and Lupo for making the right decisions. After all, they, they, they made this decision for their families. We should congratulate them. We should show some love for those guys, right? They are, they're, they're role models for personal branding.